Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 4. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 18's trailer, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so this trailer came out a few days ago, and I'm really sorry that I'm only just getting around to doing it. I've been so busy, full to the brim, I could not even make the video, so it's coming out today which is like two days late so I apologize and if I guess some people aren't around please be sure to share this video so whoever is watching right now share it around so that the people who may perhaps miss it you know get to see the video because I think this trailer is interesting there's a lot to talk about so last episode we had the all about Eve episode it was really good I really did like it it wasn't as good as the House of L episode, but that was my favourite episode of the season. That was outstanding. That was the Red Daughter origin story, but All About Eve was a really good episode. So was episode 15, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? So episode 18 has a lot to live up for, and this episode is called Crime and Punishment. It's actually not coming back till April, so we've got a long time. It's, I believe, April 21st. I could be totally wrong. But I know it's about three weeks in a bit, so we're off for a break for a while. But we'll still be making videos, so if you have any ideas or any new news comes out, obviously I'll make videos, but the theories is a point that I really like to talk about. So if you have any, you know, let me know in the comments down below or message me on Twitter, and I will be sure to do a video if it's very interesting. So the first shot of the trailer is of Supergirl, and she's at LexCorp or L Corp, sorry, and we see Lena, and we see Alex, and so they're all sort of teaming up in this episode as last episode teased right at the end because they don't believe Supergirl destroyed the White House, and I have to say, just last episode, that one scene made the whole episode for me. It was so good. With Melissa as Red Daughter doing that smirk, she was killing those people, and then she destroyed the White House, and she was just smiling the whole way. It was just so nasty, so sinister, and I loved it. So, now we get this next shot, and it's in the same room in L Corp, and we see Supergirl as she's saying, people actually believe I attacked the White House, so she's sort of just freaking out over, obviously, the footage that was shown at the end of the last episode. She was actually watching it, so she knows there's this sort of Supergirl-like figure, but obviously she knows it's not her, so... There is some sort of imposter, but she doesn't know who it is. The world doesn't know who Red Daughter is. She hasn't been like, announced to the world like all the other villains. She's sort of in the shadows right now, which I very much so admire. And so she's going to obviously face off against Red Daughter very, very soon, which I'm very excited. Obviously, we only have a few episodes left. So we have this episode 18. We have 19, 20 and 21 and then 22 so that's five episodes only left so we don't have too long but I think Red Daughter has sort of cemented herself already especially with that really amazing origin episode alright so let's move on so then we see Ben Lockwood who again I have to reiterate recently I'm getting a bit bored of him I think he will have something to do in this episode which is good that he's not just going to be playing politics or anything because I think he was always the best when he was actually in action confronting people as Agent Liberty and so Agent Liberty returns after a while and we see him say I need people I can trust if you want me to bring her down and we see this shot of the president with the American flag obviously behind so the president has personally visited Ben Lockwood because he knows he's killed aliens and stuff and they want to get Supergirl really badly as it was said at the end of the last episode she is the number one target of all of America so she must be taken down because she's seen as a criminal and so he's definitely going to Ben in order to try and take Supergirl down so he needs people he can trust if you want him to actually bring Supergirl down so that is where I guess maybe his Children of Liberty play a role but we move on to the next shot, and I really don't like this bit. It's with the woman who works at Catco, who was racist, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but racist to aliens, essentially, to inside. And like I've said a few times, 
I don't have a problem with her. I just think the actor's not very good. And I think the lines she's given, the very minimal amount of lines, are really cringy and really cheesy. Like, it, it sort of compares to the Roach line, like, with the Children of Liberty, how they all run around pumping their arms in the air saying, Roaches! 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 And it just gets really bland and boring, and it's just kind of cringy. I would say she's a cringy character. I don't know if that's just me, or maybe that's just my impression. But I find her a bit annoying, and so she's obviously on the side against aliens because you know she hates aliens as we've barely established. And she says they better catch her, so in regards to Supergirl, so again, just an annoying line, just an annoying line again. I don't know if that's just me, but then we get this new shot of Supergirl. I really like this, she's flying through the air, and she's got this facial face of shock. And so she sort of swivels her head around, and it seems like maybe she's about to get attacked. She sees something on the ground. Maybe it's Ben Lockwood and his children of liberty. I don't know, but it seems like she's definitely seeing something. And yeah, it's just a really nice shot in the air. Then we move on, and we see inside the DEO. So we do have the children of liberty, but also Agent Liberty is back. And I really do hope that Red Daughter plays a big part in this episode, because... Like I said, it's all been set up, and obviously Red Daughter has links with, obviously, Lex, but Lex has links with all of these other people, like Agent Liberty, but I'm expecting Agent Liberty to go, like, before the end of the season, hopefully, because I want Red Daughter to be front and centre. I don't want her to take a back seat for Agent Liberty, because she's just been introduced in the best episode yet, and she... You know, wasn't in that much last episode, but she had a vital role. So at least give her a vital role in this episode. This trailer doesn't tease anything to do with Red Daughter, really, apart from obviously linking to all these people. But yeah, so Agent Liberty in the DEO, he obviously has access due to him being in this new position and due to him, you know, being sent out by the president himself. We see this shot of Alex and she says Supergirl is innocent and this is to Haley. And Haley, like we saw at the end of the last episode, she agrees. So she's showing a good side and sort of like a realistic side to her because she knows Supergirl. Even though she may not agree with a lot of the stuff she does, she knows she would not destroy the White House. And then we get this shot of Supergirl as she's flung through some sort of library or like a classroom or something like that because there's bookshelves and a computer. But she's getting flung through a wall. So she's being attacked. This is most likely, obviously, by Agent Liberty. But I don't know how he would have the strength. So that is a bit weird. Maybe he has kryptonite. Maybe the government or, you know, somehow they got their hands on kryptonite and he's able to actually do that. Or... It's Red Daughter. It could be Red Daughter because she has the power to do this. And maybe Supergirl is on a mission to find out who this imposter is. And I think that would make more sense. But we know, obviously, Agent Liberty is looking for Supergirl. But I don't know how he would be able to throw her through a wall. That makes no sense. So now we move on to the next shot. And Agent Liberty says, where is Supergirl? And we see Agent Liberty approaching Brainy and then... We go to this next shot inside this library where she's just been like smashed through the wall. And so this is probably a bit prior to that. But she's taken her glasses off in the iconic Supergirl and Superman way. So she's becoming Supergirl in this moment. Then we move on to the next shot and we see Brainy as he screams. And this was really funny. I know it's not supposed to be comedic. But the way that it's sound mixed in the trailer. His scream is really loud. And it's really funny is weird it's strange it's overacting and i don't know like surely he's getting stabbed or something because that scream was mad that scream was absolutely crazy surely he's getting stabbed like i don't think you can warrant a scream that big unless you're getting stabbed or shot in the foot or something but yeah let's move on to the last shot of the trailer and so supergirl says if the government wants to stop me from helping people, let them try. So this is sort of her rebellious nature of how she obviously has been framed to 
be this sort of criminal that has destroyed the White House and everyone has been very naive to not look into, you know, Supergirl would not do that, like, surely there is some sort of imposter, maybe, you know, they somehow acquire footage of Supergirl outside whilst this other Supergirl was doing this, maybe this is a way to show evidence to, I guess, the president and the world that there is an imposter because right now no one would believe that and only Supergirl and Alex and Lena and possibly Haley would have the notion that maybe it was someone else, not Supergirl. So that is it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, also subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos. So this trailer was good, it wasn't anything too special, looking forward to it if there is a lot of Red Daughter stuff. Again, not so sure about Agent Liberty, at least he's doing some action stuff. And yeah, so that's what I want as we head towards the end of this season, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.